beautiful in your backyard, but dangerous at airports. The FAA says bird strikes are on the rise across the U.S. News Channel Line Stuff Stoico shares what Syracuse Hancock International Airport is doing to mitigate wildlife strikes there. Cover your ears. Oliver Kabilis is on a never-ending hunt to keep wildlife dangers away from the runways at Syracuse Hancock International Airport. Op 7 is only short of 2-8. It's always, you know, an effort for us to keep constant on keeping the wildlife off of the airfield. The airport sits on approximately 2,300 acres of land. The airport operations crew doing what they can to keep things safe. And it's not just birds that pose a danger. It's groundhogs, foxes, turtles, even snowy owls. We have to do everything from a wildlife habitat uh, mitigation, so making sure there's no standing water, which attracts animals, keeping our grass mowed real short so that you don't have uh, rodents that start to show up. We got to see the airport's mitigation plan in action using one of the most common deterrents. We call them bangers. Fireworks. We're going to get this turkey vulture out of here with uh, starting off with the bangers to get them up in the air. And then I'm going to follow through some screamers to direct them off the airfield. I jack the radio up all the way so I can tell when planes are coming in and landing um, or taking off prior to me sending him up in the air. And if this goes as planned, he shouldn't stay here very long. keeping vultures and other wildlife miles away. In Syracuse, Steph Stoiko, News Channel 9. Hancock Airport often relocates wildlife. They also have federal permits to deal with endangered species like the snowy owl and bald eagle.